Ebony going into the Sakaba and the main character being left alone in this chapter. So let's start reading that. Hi. Uh, so Renga are um, bricks. In case you didn't know that. Renga, Renga no kabe ni yori kakatte matta. Um. Hi. So I outside. So yori kakaru is to lean on something. Yori kakaru is to lean on. So yori kakate is I lean against the brick wall and waited. Hi. Okinukeru. Inukeru kaze ga aisuiko no omi o kakimashi kakimawashi ore no atsu no ubi ubi wake kara good guess it's actually suji Oh, wait, wait, maybe it's not Suji. Now, now I'm doubting myself. It is Suji. <laughs> Could be Suji. <laughs> uh, that's like the nape of your neck. Okay. Nape of the neck. Could be Suji Kara. This one is Mutai. 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 You be no yo me. Hi. Hi, Suiko is like the drainage ditch. The, yeah. And there's gomi in it. You know what gomi is? The trash. Hi, hi, hi. Trash from the drainage. Hi. So, what is the kaze doing? The kaze is, um, Kimawashi. Sports. He call me. So Kakimawashi. He. You know what Fuki Nukeru means? Kakimawa. Start there for now. Fuki Nukeru. From Fuku and Nukeru. Fuki. Fuku is to blow. Hi. Nukeru is Nukeru. Nukeru from. It is kind of like to nukeru. go through. Yeah. So, for example, we got we had Nukidasu when they were talking about getting through the yasuki. Um, yugure no yasuki. So, nuku. So, Fuki Nukeru is to blow through. So, the wind blowing through it, Kakima washi. This is basically means like to mix with takimawashi, to stir, to churn, things like that, the rummage around. So this wind is stirring and mixing in with what do we think? Stirring and mixing with the gomi. Hi. Um, with the high sweet cold gomi. Hi. And cold, where does gomi. it go next? Where does it go next? Um, and then into the Oreno Satsuno. Oreno Satsuno Kubi Uji Kara. On the next 
of my shirt and my tie you be no yoni like a finger of a cold like a finger that is cold I recall that where it comes the wind flows into the napalm flows Hi. into the nape or flows from the nape of my neck um so flows theoretically it's the from so contextually it's a little bit hard but contextually it's basically it's going through his clothes so starting from the nape of his neck it is Heidi Konde so komu is to go into so no this is where it's entering so it's going in Heidi komuing the nape from where the nape of the neck is and it's probably like exiting out on the other end of the shirt, right? So basically, it's like it's going straight through his back, kind of like if you got like a ice cube and someone put it on your nape of your neck. It's gonna start from your nape of your neck, but the ice cube is probably gonna go all the way down. So that's what this uh, kaze is doing. It's blowing through, um, starting from the nape of his shirt downwards, probably. I, it flows through like a cold finger. It's Kori Kondeku coming in. I Hadashida Umu Ishi Tarani Wa Izuno Yoni. Mizu no yo. So Mizu would not have that little dot right here. This is actually Kori. Kori no yo. Kori no yo. Kori no yo. Kori no yo. Ichi de dami wa Kori no yo. Like the ice. Hi. I see that. Oh, you see, Karami wa. You barefoot, being barefooted. Like a barefoot stone. That is ice. Hi. So the Ichi Tatami is the stone paved road is like stone. And then it's being modified with the relative clause Hadashi de Fumu, which is stepping barefoot. So we can assume contextually that most likely the stone paved probably floor is not actually have bare feet. It's not like a golem or something like that. So contextually, we can assume we're talking about the ore, ore wa. So in other words, I step or the stone, the, the, the stone paved flooring that I step on barefoot is like ice. But that is very contextually. And it's because the relative clause can basically be anything from the original sentence, as long as it's not the verb and it's a noun. So it can be the location, or it can be the subject, or it can be the object. Um, so here, theoretically, it's the object, because you fumu with o, right? Ichidatami o fumu would mean to step on ichidatami. So we can assume it's replacing o rather than replacing ga, which is the subject, because the subject of the sentence so far is ore wa, and hasn't really been replaced yet. That's the latest wa we have seen. Um, it looks like it is going to be replaced in the second sentence with a new wa, making a new topic. But for now, we can assume the doer of the fumuing is ore rather than ishitatami, just by what the vocabulary words mean and stuff. Manu, why is Khan keep talking about being barefoot on the pavement? Is he after barefoot. Barefoot yes. this whole time? He, yeah, he's he's barefoot. He's an orphan. Got no shoes. Oh, I see. 
I um so that's why he's so obsessed with food. Machiwa Sume Kiri. No, this is not Sumetai. This is the other reading. Hi. It says he Sume Kiri. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, Kiri. Machiwa. Here we're changing the subject for the topic. Right. Uh, with this machi. So machi wa yakiri. Meaning it's turning cold. The town is turning cold. Garan to shitai iru. Garan is the Garan. sound of emptiness. Hi, it is. Perfect. Toste is Toste is as um Toste is at, at um, it's not as if but it's more of so you think about all Tosuru. Um so Tosuru when we have an onomatopoeia, it's just how we add sudu to onomatopoeias. That's that's just kind of how you do it. So if you want to just say the city is doing garan, is doing the automatopoeia or garanto, then you just add sudu to that. Um, you're correct that to sudu is also a grammar point. That is not what we're looking at here. Um, it's totally unrelated. This is just automatopoeia with to and then sudu to mean we're doing the automatopoeia rather than the automatopoeia being used to modify a different verb. You can still think about it as modifying, though, because sudu just means to do, and you're modifying the doing as in doing garanto, doing emptiness, doing an empty sound. Hey, sound is turning cold, emptying of being empty. Um, it's koshide mo. Koshide mo. Even, even, even a little. Atata marida. Ama. Atata marida. Kute. Hi. So kute is the te form of e Ama adjectives. Warm. Wanting a little warmth. Hi. Wanting even. A little warm. Yo, who that? The Q. Oh. Arada o. Takishimeta. Takishimeru. The act of curling oneself up into kind of literally world. though it's Rolling. just from this word right here which is to hug and this word which is to strangle so make it make it into a very um tight hug you um is kind of the same it's a squeezing sound effect so he tightly hugs his karada with a uh, youde both arms because wanting a little bit of warmth. Hi, hi. So that I may have a little bit of warmth. I hug tightly my body with both arms. Subara Subite. Subaraku. And then Ibaraku modifying shite. Kind of. In a way, it's his own word. But yes, that is what it's doing. Shibaraku is modifying sudu. Um, but sudu, just like with to shiteru, doesn't really mean anything. It just basically is a way to say doing shibaraku. Um, and shibaraku is a time phrase. What do you think it means? 
Deixa eu parar aqui. E parar. Subarai. Subarakusta basically means after a little bit. Sometimes you hear someone bit. say uh, to wait a little bit using shibaraku to do that as well. So it just means like a short period of time. They want you to basically sit somewhere. It tends not to be used unless you're like sitting to wait. It's, it's like a do nothing waiting kind of word. Uh, hold the fort, kind of. Right. Sire is to bring along. Hi, bring along. Sete to emerge. Hi, perfect. And to come out. Uh, what came out? So, after a while, Neburi out from the Hub. Otoko o hitori surete. Deteki. Nobody come out bringing with him a single man. Perfect. One man. Sega. He is tall. Ubiga. Utoi. Otoko. Da. The man is of a thick neck. And he is tall. Um. Kamiwa. His hair. Sun sun ni atte ite. His hair is sticking up. His kaho, his face. Kaho wa atte ade ni naguri. Aide oshitami tai ni yugan dei deiru. Face is Adeni Naguri Aide Oshi Tami Taini. Taini is to look as if, look as though. Hi. Taini. Yugande iru. Hi. Yugama is to be warped. Yugama. So his face looks worse. Warped. Look warped. Um, look warped. Shita modifying Nitai. Nitai. Is act is physically looking like something else, right? It's not Yoni. Yes, it is and to look like something else. That. See, it looks like he has been doing Naguri Ai, which has caused his face to be Yugande. Naguri Ai. Nagu, um, nagu Naguri Ai is the meeting of this. Hi, exactly. Fighting. Yeah, so it looks like he's been fighting, which has caused his face to be warped. Adeni is modifying Agriai. And Hadeni is. Is Hadeni also a time phrase, Moni? 
Hadane is actually like very like obvious or showy. So like in a he's been in a big fight basically, like not like a little wimpy fight, but like uh some kind of big deal kind of fight. Like a tough fight, a, a big fight. Hade ni naguri ai de mo mo marking mo shita mo here meaning it's hard to put mo into words. Hi hi. Mo is um, hard. Mo. I here. I just would ignore it. It just Marking. is like even it even looks like his face is warped as if he'd even been in a big fight. Kind of what the mole's doing. Just kind of throw that even in there randomly. Hmm. I have a sense that the reason they put mole is because they are going through a series of descriptions. Mm. They're describing his height, his neck, basically his bill, his neck, hi, hi, hi. his hair. And they're describing his face. So he's saying each one of these is a subject or potentially a subject that I'm describing. But now I'm describing his face mm. more as well. Um, I don't... And it looks as he, it looks. I, I yeah. wouldn't say it's also more. <laughs> If it was also more, the more would be over here, like cow more, kami more, uh, something like that. But it's not saying his hair as well as his face. This more is modifying the de, right? Te form plus mo, which is naguriai de. So uh, naguriai de mo shita means to have done even fighting each other, right? So he's even been in a big fight, it looks like, which has warped his face. So it's just even it's just being adding dramatic uh, it's it's like made made could could be used naguri au made mitai ni you could probably use made up into to, to the, the the point is his face is warped his cow is warped is the point of the sentence kao wa yakandeiru kami wa tatteiru so his hair is standing up his face is warped but warp in itself doesn't really tell you much. Like, what does that even mean? So they describe the warping as hadeni nagoriai demoshita, which is hadeni, very like big fight. Um, and so, and then they just added even in that. So you don't really need the mole, but the mole is just adding to the descriptor. Uh, without mole, it's a little bit robotic, I guess. It, it sounds more factual, maybe. This is showing kind of how like shocked the main character is, I guess. It's like, wow, his face is warped. I bet he's even been in a big ass fight. Mm -hmm. Is this demo using in the same manner as the sentence that we have yesterday when probably um nobody was saying demo in the sense that he if 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 he cooperates with the Lord of Twilight on top of mm. like in comparison yeah. to cooperating with the magician. If, I, if I'm gonna is the word we talk about was like cooperation was it kyo koryoku koryoku so that was Koryoku's. I believe that was also in that context Demo. which is very confusing so this is teform teform is naguri aide that is just teform this right here, if this was in dictionary form, would be au. Au goes into te form, which is aide. Oh, sorry, it's not au, it's agu. Wait, what? Au. Oh. Aide mo. Um, You're right. Au. That's that it interesting in conjugation. It's, 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 it's au. But yeah, it's just in te form with mo. We have saw, you can see mo in weird ways. The one that we saw with mo that was interesting was dake de mo. That you thought might have been demo, but it wasn't demo. It was dake, which is a noun, in te form, which takes de. And then we added the mo to it, dake demo. 
But the last page you're talking about with the kyoryokumo was also, because the line was, not only did something happen, but he also did the second thing. So it's very confusing in how in English, those two ideas are very separate versus in Japanese. But it is the dake demo mo, which is not mo from demo. Totally different thing. But this is the same demo as that. It's te form plus mo, which has a even like meaning added to something. This kind of, it's a made kind of meaning added. To the extent that mo. Made, made, to the extent his face has even been through rough times. Hi, hi. To where it warps. Hi. To the extent it looks like he's been in a big ass fight. Hi. That's how warped it is. Made, made. Made, made. Made. Hi. Okay. I need to be reminded of this point many times. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm going to forget again. That's just learning Japanese. I mean, this, that is like a more complex um, grammar thing. Made especially, I think, is probably like N2 or something. Here it's a koitsu wa yukimbo. Is he a thief? I mean, is he a bodyguard? Hi. Um. Funny how it has the word bowl here as well, as in dodo bowl. It is bowl. This bowl right here means like stick, like a club. Yeah. So it's like a thief have a club. Yep. A bodyguard also had a club. I so have. in a sense, there are a bunch of ruffians. Exactly. Um, thieves and bodyguards. <laughs> oh, <so. laughs> um. I um Koba Koba it's just a normal guy a normal Kobun is a minion it's a part of you that is minion. small that's like a child here minion uh, grunt minion? it's he it's 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 Khan referring to the minion in the context of the Lord of Twilight minions, or just a uh, generic? Just generic. It's a henchman um, follower. Of some sort. Yeah, any kind of thing like that. I, and then sore de mo, sore to mo. Here's another mo. Right. What do you think is mo here means? I'm not sure. Sore, sore to mo together sore means that. like or. That and also is used mm -hmm. to mean or, I guess. Sore tomo. That and also. So, or, or that and that and else. That and Looks like more. it's tomo from okay, tomo. two things, tomo. Like, the... uh, not to and mo. No, it's actually tomo. Tomo. Apparently. So that's not a mo. The more you know. Okay. <laughs> Sore tomo. Sore tomo. That is not a mo. That is tomo. Um, Ada no. Goro tsuki. Goro is kot. Goro. Hmm. Goro tsuki. The key is to attack. Hmm. Goro. The kanji looks mm -hmm. like it's very random. Looks like we have like door falling and uh explosion for some reason um uh, i could be wrong with the kanji uh but yeah gorotsuki a is a thug i think that's a plain a old thug a thug hi hi tada is just a plain old tada yeah plain old tada 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 no so I can use Tada to modify. It's a plain old shirt. Right? Tada Hi. no shirt. Tada no shirts. Plain old, plain old pant. Plain old anything, right? Tada no Orotsuki. Plain old thug. Then here it say Chi. 
chi what? Chi e me? Chi Good no. guess. Chi so this is chi e from me. dirt and me from like aji. But together it's actually jimi, which means plain. Tastes like dirt, but it's just plain. Jimi na chairo no ueshita. The entire um the outfits that he have on is of a plain brown. Ueshita no nakani. Naka ni akai. Naka ni akai. Mo fuito? Fuito. Mo ito. It's actually keito, which means no. wool. Keito. Keito no betsuto o. The belt of wool that is red, that is nakai, that is in the middle of or in the midst of the ue chita, the outfit, that is a brown, a plain round, brown. Mm. So he had a wool, wool what? A vest? A vest? You thought it was a vest? Yep. And what color was the vest? Vest. It is akai. Ay, ay. It's red. It's akaida. That's no no akaida. Um, and he kite ite. He is wearing such a such a cloth, such a red. Okay, now the abahiro. A bahiro is the crown of his head. That's a good right? guess. So piro is wide, but this is um not really talking about a hat here. It is talking about just like the wideness, the it, the wideness of cloth, wide width, um, which is the berito. So width. it's not a skinny berito; it's a fat berito, kind of like an obi. No, it's gonna be some kind of big ass. Oh. Uh, uh, the belt that he's wearing is Shunchu no Ome Kinga Suite Iru. He's wearing his Suite Iru. He, um, the belt is attached with a uh shunju no tome gane ga gane ga uh, tome gane is so a clasp a, a claps a harness yes a claps that is uh shunju meaning copper or true or some sort of metal shunju right. shun is true is a uh, brass. 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 A clasp that is brass. Um, and that's the belt that is attached. In other words, it's attached to the previous subject, which is the best, the best, the best. Mm, the first, he talked about the best. Then he talked about the belt. Hi. First, he's saying the man is wearing a red vest that is made out of wool, that is red in color, that is worn um, nakani, meaning in the middle of the upper and lower outfit. Hi. And then in the second clause, he say. There's a big belt, a thick belt that is suite iru, that is attached. And that belt is described as being made of brass. Yeah, specifically the class. So is I'm made guessing suite iru. 
So because Ga is marking the collapse, right? This Tomega Ne Ga. So now it's talking about the Tomega Ne. So whatever the verb that come afterward is suiteru is actually being done by the tomegane. So right. it's the suiteru is saying the tomegane is attached. Right. It didn't say attached to what though? Well, it does because the particle no, ni no, is attached to the bow. Hi. Hi. Say beru to ni wa with regard to the thing that attached to the bow. Well, it's it's particle it ni with wa added that are made to it. of brass. Hi. Hey. Hey. Doing double duty there. So the bell, bell. The bell had a class made of brass attached. Hi, hi, hi. So Walk yep. So he's wearing a brown top and bottom, and within that he has a red vest and a belt with a brass clasp. And the belt is, as you said, very large, very long, fat with belt. I'll stop recording.